Today's state senator Bill DeStef tells me that he is drafting letters to the state inspector general to seek an investigation into this issue. He's also reached out to other officials for an audit. And finally, he's reached out to the Virginia attorney general as well for an official legal opinion. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I'm just saying there's a lot of questions and it, something doesn't seem right. The issue came to light after former university rector Helen Dragas wrote about it in the Washington Post. She labeled these dollars a slush fund, while university officials have called it a strategic investment fund designed to promote the long-term financial security of the school. You could use just the money from the investment of this $2.3 billion and reduce tuition 70% for statewide students. Senators Bill DeSteff and Chap Peterson say they're alarmed by this fund. Now DeSteff is looking to get to the bottom of it. From a strategic reserve standpoint, the state's rainy day fund or um, reserve fund is $800 million. This is three times the amount of the state reserves. And this is a state agency, a public university, and they feel that they need something three times the size of the entire state of Virginia. Peterson, a UVA grad, says he shares these concerns and is considering introducing a bill on this issue next session. The General Assembly needs to rein them in. I mean, if necessary, I'll bring legislation in 2017 saying universities by law cannot price their education beyond what it actually costs. In other words, you can't overcharge your consumers and then run a surplus. And today, the university directed us to several resources online, including a link to the latest audit, a comment from the university rector about how this investment, strategic investment fund is for the long-term financial health of the university and in the best interest of the students. And we'll have copies to all of that information on our website at NBC29.com.